you want to know how to handle an angry realtor? Coming up. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, brokers, and investors achieve financial freedom and grow their businesses. So long story short, we're a listing agent for a, a property here in Southwest Florida. And um, we're getting down to the wire for closing and we have to extend it because the tenant that's in place um, really was short handed and need a couple more days to move out. And unfortunately it is what it is, sometimes this happens. But um, I get all these aggressive voice messages and text messages from the real estate agent who's representing the buyer basically saying um, we need to kick her out and we this is crazy we need to get her out of the place and he, he's just completely upset and I understand everybody's frustrated the seller's frustrated as well but you know you, you also have to treat people um, humanly in this business I mean it, it, you have to have respect for other people in their situation and she uh, the, the tenant had some things going on which which the later so um, I called up the seller to see what we can do we actually um, had the seller um, provide her some some money to um, actually hire some movers and he even paid for the moving truck and so forth so that actually made things progress a little bit quicker um, it actually expedited the closing by a couple of days but uh, all things considered it only got extended for four days and um, this agent was just freaking out and the buyer um, it, it, the buyer is an investor so it's not like this person needs to is going to be homeless and needs to move into the property so i think that uh this agent was pretty green didn't really know how to handle their emotions um and and ultimately they, they're acting erratic you know if if there was something else that we could have done we would have um but you know the, the options were limited at that point in time with that said um you get you get more bees with honey. So if you're in negotiations or, or something like this happens where you have a delay in closing, you gotta maintain your emotions. You, you know, you as the real estate professional needs to kind of step back um, and, and be even keel across the board because you're gonna have emotional tenants, you're gonna have emotional buyers, you're gonna have emotional sellers, you're gonna have emotional realtors as well. So. You know, anytime that somebody's freaking out or whatever the case is, even if they're on the phone yelling at you, just take a break from it. Don't don't feed into the because it's, it's not worth it. So um, if this does happen, a couple of things I recommend is, um, you know, if they're calling and you're on the phone with them, just say that you have to go politely. Just say, look, I got another call coming in. We'll address this in a little bit. It'll allow them to um it'll give them some time to relax and chill out because you know you can only be angry for so long you can only be heated up for so long so if you get off the phone with this person and a you know it, and allow that time um to let them kind of cool down it's for the best bet um, also if you're getting um, text messages or emails from a disgruntled realtor uh, for one thing, what I do is I try to call them right away. Usually that helps. I'd say 90% of the time I'll call them and, and calm them down and, and talk them through the situation. Um, but sometimes they get loud and aggressive and I just say, you know, I'll have to call you back because it's not worth my time. Um, so anyway, with this agent, you know, there was nothing, not much that we could have done. Um, you know, the lady had fish tanks and she had some... Um, some, some family things going on so again you know there really wasn't that much we could have done and um, we did wind up closing the deal and you know there's there's nothing anybody would have said or done that would have made this real estate agent happy in any sense um, so you're gonna deal with crazy in this business there's no doubt about it so it's on you to kind of even keel chill out and um, you know just just be unemotional about the transaction there's no reason for you guys to get emotional as the real estate professional and um, if it happens and you start to feel yourself getting heated up or wherever the case is throw the phone down go take a walk chill out relax and uh, calm yourself down my question for you guys is what's what's the craziest emotionally driven 
situation that has happened in your real estate career? Leave a comment below, I'd like to hear about it. Hey, if you guys found value in this kind of video and some of these others, you might wanna go ahead and subscribe to our channel, Steve Invest. If you hit the little bell, it's gonna notify you guys every time a new video comes out, which we're gonna have, we have about two a week coming out right now. And uh, we're just gonna keep more content coming at you guys. Appreciate the support, take care.